Here comes the boom! Mark it up to time, let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. Hey traders, I've just recorded the video walking you through my ultimate trading system. This has been my most powerful trading system for the last 10 years or more. You're gonna absolutely love this. Click on the box above that says ultimate trading system and you're gonna see all the details. I'm gonna give you the whole system absolutely free. Hey traders, market update time. And also I'm gonna share some uh, trading tool, trading technique to help you guys pick good setups. Ah. Uh, Pretty much a nothing day across the board, guys. Dow Jones just slowly just creeping up and creeping up. We're definitely not getting a lot of buyers out of this, but we're just slowly crawling up. So definitely wanna definitely pretty much nothing day. Sideways day with the Dow uh, S and P, same thing. With all the indexes, pretty much a nothing day across the board. Moving on to doo -doo -doo -doo, the silver and gold again. Pretty much nothing day on silver and gold. Big picture guys, big picture analysis on silver and gold. Again, remember, keep an eye out for that $18 level. That's going to be resistance and same thing for the gold here as well too. Okay, so gold, uh, we are rallying back up again and it's looking strong and man, things are looking really, really strong. So uh, a lot of the actual uh, silver and gold stocks actually got hit pretty hard uh, just recently. I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't say pretty hard, but a lot of them got hit. So even though gold and silver had a small little update, a lot of the gold stocks, because I'm actually in a couple of them myself, uh, they actually went down a couple of percent, two percent or so more. Anyway, uh, the overall trend is still up when it comes to my trade analysis, so I have that. Here's a, and I want I want to teach you guys a I want to teach you guys a trading technique that I use that I've actually started implementing this year because of some some, of some lessons that I made last year. All right, so there's there's two things that I've implemented into my trading career this year that has just taken it to a whole nother level for me. And this is stuff that I've known. This is stuff that I've actually uh, uh, subconsciously or unconsciously traded in the past. And I've done really, really well for many, many years. And then when I leave this, it's just like it just doesn't work out. So here is a few things that, that, that I use that may help you guys out. First thing I want to say is, let me actually just bring up this here, okay? First thing I want to say, you can see that I've got two moving averages on my chart. I'm going to bring up this here. This is save right now, okay? Um, I'm going to bring up this this one here, and on on this one here, you can see that I have two moving averages. Okay, so this is the this is the nine day moving average, and this is the fifty two day moving average. So here's the thing, guys. Okay, here's the thing that what uh, we we all know, right? We all know that when it comes to trading, we don't know which trade is going to be successful. Now, the more we get out, the the better we trade. The more we can get a really good good feeling that oh my goodness this is just this is going to crack like I got into a trade today uh, and I'm not joking this thing here it's screaming at me from the weekly chart to the daily chart to the daily entry it's screaming this thing is about to go down real fast um, big volume coming in big selling coming in it's just like just incredible so I'll share with that share share with you guys that later on that's the beside the point so but looking at looking at the charts and looking at these these looking at the charts the thing is that we we all know that we need to cut our losses short let our wins run okay so how do you do that in practical sense we need to have a rule in our trading that's going to allow you to do that so if you're a short term trader okay if you're a short term trader I mean you're looking for a short term move then we need to have a no story exit okay a no story exit and that simply means that if this happens, you're absolutely, without a doubt, you're getting out. And what I like to use is I like to use uh, the low of my entry bar or the nine day moving average. So either one, but, they're, but they're, they're helping me cut my losses short. Now here's the thing guys, every big loss was once a small loss, right? So how do you stop, stop yourself from doing that? Pretty, pretty simple, okay? Um, and, and the reason why, and, 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 and how, you stop, how you stop yourself from, do, from doing that is how what you actually do is with your trading, okay? So I'll share a few trades that I took uh, that I'll share with you, okay? So I got in on this day right here, all right? So you can see this is actually, you can see all the, all the analysis here actually, by the way. Oh. <coughs> so I got in right here, okay? This is a... 
this is what we call a really nice sort of it was this day here it was like a really nice what I call a UTS setup so I got it on this day here my rule simply says because I got in on that day there my rule says that if it closes below the low of my entry bar I'm definitely out or if it closes below the nine day moving average so in this case for me, it was the nine-day moving average. I had a real tight stop. If I'm getting in, I'm if I'm getting in here, right at the end of the day, then I said, okay, if we close tomorrow below the nine-day, I'm out. You can see tomorrow didn't, this day didn't, this day didn't, and as you can see, it rode all the way up. And where did it actually close below? Let's actually just look at this here. Right there. Okay. So what I did is, I obviously I didn't hold on to it for that long. I got out somewhere. So I got in here. And my nine day, and even if, if I did get out here, I used the close of the nine day. So it got out here and, and, and got got in there, got out there. Still made a profit, right? But I got in there and I got out sort of here somewhere. The only reason why I started going sideways for a couple of days and I just wasn't happy with it. So um, I just I just got out of it. Makes sense. So even if I did hold on for another couple of days, I still, I would have lost a little bit of profit, but I still would have made a nice profit from there to there. Makes sense? So that's that's the rule that I use for nine day okay and I'll show you the very next setup the very next setup I did is I did this okay was this day right here I got in this day right here it was actually a really nice bullish setup I got in on this day right here now why did I get on that it was just the setup that I had and I said if we close below the nine day I'm getting out and as you can see the market continued to take off when had a little pullback I still wasn't out still wasn't out still wasn't out still it closed right on it Still wasn't out. You can see this one here, closed right on it. And so I actually held on to this a bit more because we I actually held all through this. Still, still wasn't, it still wasn't. And then it was somewhere around about this day here that I ended up getting out. So I didn't actually, I, no, I didn't, didn't pick the top. Um, so where is that through there? Yeah, so I got out somewhere. So as you can see, right, I got in here. And this is all about let your profits run, cut your losses short. As you can see, the nine day, if you're using the nine day moving average, you would have got in there and you would have gotten out. They closed on it, closed on it. I want a definite close below. So definite close below for me was right there. So basically at 50 to basically 50, 57, somewhere around there. That would, that, that would have been the trade. But if I was wrong, then that's that's my exit. So as you can see, right? So if you can see here, if you look at this as a as that my risk was my risk was this point through here. So that was my risk. If it did close below there, that was my risk. And then my actual reward, as you can see, my reward was up from there to there. So you can see my reward was actually a lot bigger. This here was this here was my risk. So my risk was the nine day once again. So from here down through there so that that was basically my risk if you look at that that was my risk if it if, it, if um that's where i was getting out at the low of this bar or if it closed below the nine day and you can see my reward for that trade there was that as if the market mar market ran up and i got up through there so this here was my this here was my reward and this is why that i like the trade guys a lot of this time and as you can see that that, that was my that was my reward. So you can see a lot of the times your risk to reward can be quite good. So again, guys, what I'm what I'm what I'm what I'm talking about here is creating a situation where it's a no story rule. What what we're doing here is if it gets below the nine day moving average, if we get below the nine day moving average, I am out no matter what. So even if I go through a stage of 50-50 win loss ratio, I'm going to still do okay. Get out quickly, get out quickly, get out quickly, boom, there's a good profit. There we go. Do you know what I mean? This is this is the biggest key that I can say. So, in your trading, use a no story rule. Now, the next thing I want to share with you is that the smoother the setup, the more, the more successful it's going to be. So, as you can see, as you can see around on this particular stock here, I was watching this stock, and as you can see around here, right, we had a lot of messiness. It came down a little sideways movement. You can see there was a lot of messiness, not really much movement. Then what happened? What ha what happened through here? We had a really nice, we had a really nice run up, and then we had a really nice smooth pullback. Can you see how smooth that is compared to all this action here, right? And then we had another nice run up, and then we had a nice smooth pullback, and then we had, and then we had another nice run up, and then as you can see, then it went into all this ugliness again. So you can see here that, and that's the reason why I traded it there, and I traded it there. The reason why is the reason why I did that is because it started giving me some smooth price action. If I started going, you know, as you can see. Out of all this whole chart, that there 
all this was very messy. It wasn't very clear. There was, it was a, almost a smooth action, but then we went into this messy. See all this messiness? You want to stay away from that. You want to get in this nice smooth price action. And again, you've got all this messiness just slowly crawling up. I don't like that. You know what I mean? So smooth is best. I'll show you here a trade that I'm in right now uh, is Rick. RIC. And I got into a trade just recently on this one. And and as you can see, this look at look at the look at the, the what we call the price action, right? We had a smooth price action. Came down, came up, came down, smooth, came down, came back up, came back down, and we had a nice run up. And I got in um, on the eggs on the break of this bar here, and I'm still in it right now. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We may get a down day tomorrow. We may not. We may just continue to break through. So, but we'll see what happens when it comes to that. As you can see, right, that my exit is the nine day. This is if I want to let my profits run and see what the trade's got. Well, I'm going to use the nine day moving average. Sometimes, you know, I might have, and I think my options are around about a hundred percent profit right now. So right around about that. You know, I might be giving back fifty percent of that. If we, if we have a big crack down, then I know that I'm I know that I'm potentially giving away some of that extra profit. But I, but that's just fear, right? If I if I want to get out now because I'm fearful of losing the profit then that's going to stop you from jumping on some big trends. So for me, uh, for me, it's all about cutting my losses short and just letting the trade run. And I know, you know, I might have, you know, all, out of all my winners, even if I'm 50-50, right? If I know that 70-80% of them, if I do that rule, then I'm going to get on more profit than not. Make sense? So anyway, guys, here is a few tips that I want to share with you. Uh, little market update, no story trading rule, and then also smooth is best. Hey, thanks for watching. If you'd like to get more free education about trading, then click on the box that says free trading course. This is a free trading course. It goes for around 12 hours long. It's about 12 videos long. It covers everything from chart reading, mindset, trading systems, money management, trade management, everything you need to get yourself ahead in the markets. And if you'd like to get my help personally, then click on the box that says get John's help and you'll be able to see how you can get my help personally. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. And remember, success can be yours if you go claim it. So step up, take massive action, and face your fears today.